I say I am. Hello, everybody. Uh, you probably don't know me. If you do, just bear with me for a minute. I am Paraka Mystica, also known as Paraka Pier or Per uh, Pira or Pura or Para or whatever. Um, PM, 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 um, and that's about it. Uh, so we're just like, hey, you there. Uh, but regardless, uh, Hello, I'm Paraka, and this is my YouTube channel. I'm mostly going to be doing Minecraft stuff occasionally, very rarely. I will upload a Pokemon Splice, some of which I've done on my old channel, which I'll link to in the description. So, uh, yeah, go ahead and subscribe to that if you want to, although I'm probably never going to upload anything on that again. Uh, anyway, so yeah, hello. Uh, and yeah, I guess I'll start off showing you a neat little thing I made. Uh, which is a 100% safe trash can for your items that has a recovery option. And it's also pretty effective and can be placed pretty much anywhere that you have room for it. And here we go. Ignore everything else everywhere. Uh, this is just stuff that I'll, I might show later on. Uh, so this is your, your basic safe trash can. Oh, let me, there. This is your basic safe trash can. You can't fall in or anything, which is the number one concern. Um, but the problem is, and if I just get a stack of items here, uh, it's pretty hard to get it through the holes. I mean, you can do it, but then sometimes they'll ghost and you pick them back up or whatever, and it's pretty hard to do from a distance. Uh, I, <laughs> I did that pretty well that time. Um, but if you put it in a corner, and you throw the items right at the corner, they will almost always go in. The uh, problem with this design is if you throw, uh... You know, your oops, I just threw my super expensive diamond chest plate in there. I can't get it out. Uh, a lot of people, instead of using this design, will have a trap door that they put there. And they'll throw their items into the corner of the trap door, trying not to land on this edge, because then they just will stay there. Um, but that way, if they throw their super awesome trap door there, they can just go in and pick it up before they dump them all. Um, now the trouble with this is, um, well, it's, it's kind of obnoxious, that noise, and if you have any redstone nearby, it might trigger it or something, uh, so that's annoying. Um, and also, if you're like, if I go into game mode zero, and see I have one heart, and I'm like, oh, I gotta throw away all this stuff and pick up my good stuff that I dropped, oh god, oh god, oh. So, I think you can see the problem there. So, that's why I had the iron bars there. Um, now, some people will have an interesting solution, and they'll put a trapdoor over the iron bars, and then they'll start throwing their items on there, and then when they're done, they'll do that. Unfortunately, it almost always lands there. Or, if you throw it in the corner, you'll see I failed at throwing that in the corner. Um, <laughs> if you throw it in the corner, you will see that it just stays on the trap door, and that fails. Uh, so that doesn't work. Um, it, 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 it's fickle. It sometimes works and sometimes doesn't. Now there is a solution, which is to have it in a, like a one block space, and then you throw them at the other corner, and then they drop most of the time. Uh, but that's still kind of annoying. Maybe we feel that. Um, so that's why I don't use that design. Instead, I use this design. And it's pretty simple, you just throw the items in. And this design is like it can be used in here. It doesn't have to be in the corner, it doesn't have to be in a, a one block space, it doesn't have to be even in a corner or on a wall or whatever. It can just be in the middle of your room if that fits your aesthetic. Um, you just throw all your items in, it can be at any angle, it doesn't actually matter as long as it's not on the trap door hinge, of course. Um, and they will all fall in and go into the cactus. Now all these designs use cactus, but of course you can replace them with lava, or a void pit, or whatever solution you want. It doesn't matter, as long as it destroys the items. Um, so that works. Uh, 
And of course, if you fall in O God and you don't actually die because there's an iron bar there. So instead of having an iron bar and then a trap door, or a trap door and then an iron bar, or just one or the other, you have both. They're both below the surface. And since I have this water stream flowing onto the thing, it pushes all the items that land that might land on the bars onto off the edge, and they fall into the cactus there. And the only reason I have that stair block there is so that the this guy won't actually attach to it, uh, the block next to it, so that it does have half of a block space that items can fall through. And, uh, well, color me stupid, I could have done that and it would have been fine. But yeah, so you just throw all your items on, and it's 100% safe if you fall in, then you don't fall in, it doesn't push you through the half block gap because you're not big enough, or because you're too big. Uh, and, oh no, I'm trapped. No, you're not. You just close this and you swim up and then you jump out. So it's a little obnoxious uh, aesthetic-wise, seeing as it's not flush, because if it was flush, you'd fall in and then not ever be able to get back out. Uh, so that's a problem. So it's not flush, but it's the next best thing because it can be put anywhere. And it's it, it works 100% of the time. Uh, so yeah. Okay, well... That's it for my first video. Uh, hopefully tomorrow I'll upload uh, some videos about the other things that you saw surrounding this. Um, but yeah, adios. I am who I say I am. <laughs>